Welcome to another episode of Blonde in the Kitchen. Today, my mom will be making cheese blintzes. Not only are these delicious, but they're super easy to make. You can make them days in advance, and they're perfect for breakfast or brunch. Let's begin by making the cheese filling. Rule of thumb for this recipe, my mom always says, two parts farmer's cheese to one part cream cheese. Now, if you've never used farmer's cheese and you don't know where to find it, if you have a local international food store, nine times out of 10, they will carry farmer's cheese. And to my surprise, I've noticed that a lot of grocery stores are now stocking up on farmer's cheese in their dairy sections. Making the filling is the easiest part of the whole recipe. Once you combine all of the ingredients, all you have to do is set it aside in the fridge covered while you make the crepe. The filling will stay good in the fridge for up to two days. On to the next step, which is making our sweet crepes. Making the batter is simple and easy, and yes, you could make this ahead of time as well. Using an electric mixer or blender, go ahead and combine all of your ingredients together before covering with plastic wrap and placing in your fridge for at least half an hour. After the half hour passes and the batter has rested, you can go ahead and fry. If you wanted to make this batter ahead of time and cook it on a different day, I recommend at most leaving this in your fridge for 24 hours. Any longer than that and the color of your batter will change and you do not want that. Once we add the milk, it's going to be silky smooth and it's done. We're going to place it in a microwave dish and get ready to cook. As you can see here, my mom sprayed her pan with some oil and using a ladle, add your batter to the pan and start moving your pan in a circular motion so that the whole bottom gets covered in batter. Now see here, the batter is bubbling up. That is exactly what you want. And once it's golden, it's done. And we're only cooking it on one side. The reason why we cook it on one side is because the filling goes on the cooked side of the crepe. The side that wasn't fried is going to be fried in oil once the blintz is filled. The side that wasn't fried before is going to be fried in oil once the crepe is filled with the cheese filling. I promise you, you can do this. This is not intimidating at all. Towards the bottom center of your crepe, add a heaping tablespoon of your filling. Now fold upwards and pat it down just a little bit and fold in the sides towards the center of your crepe. At this point, all you have to do is roll it up and you're done. Once all of your crepes are filled, it is time to fry. You could use butter here, we're going to use oil. Once your pan is nice and hot, go ahead and add your blintzes and cook on both sides until they're golden brown. I'm the person in the house that likes for everything to be just a little bit crispier or cook longer than usual. So my mom always makes a batch that are cooked just a little bit longer. Let me tell you, they're just as good, if not better. Now to add just a pinch more sweetness to your life, we're making a raspberry sauce to go with this. This raspberry sauce is the icing on the cake of these blintzes, okay? This raspberry sauce can stay in your fridge for months and it will not go bad. It's like jam in your fridge, you know, you could leave it there forever. You're going to want to dissolve your sugar into the liquids. So once you add in your sugar, your water, your lemon juice, your rum, bring this to a boil after you've mixed in the sugar. And once it's come to a boil, go ahead and let this simmer for about a minute before adding in your fresh raspberries. For this to become the raspberry sauce, you just keep mixing and mixing for about three to four minutes at a low simmer until you see it become this deep cherry red color. You're going to want to let your raspberry sauce cool before sieving it through and leaving out those raspberry seeds. But if you don't mind raspberry seeds, then your raspberry sauce is done. So this is what your raspberry sauce is going to look like after you've sieved it through and there's a lot more raspberry sauce where that came from. It is time to enjoy these delicious cheese blintzes. We like to add some sour cream to the bottom of the plate and top these blintzes with some powdered sugar and raspberry sauce. 
And that is it. I want to thank you so much for watching as always. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. And if you'd like to be notified of any of our future videos, click on that little bell next to the subscribe button.